in final map of this BO3. Ender so. keeps his sanity. Exactly. Double controller, but a composition that MIBR tested within the offseason with a fade instead of a sky. We'll see what, uh, what they refine within this round. Right. And here it comes. Chat crowd. There it is. And the first contact. Oh, three! Instantly get dropped by GZZ. Keep going. But Vanity's still there to try to help as much as he can. Whippy now the last player standing on a three versus one. The headshot onto FRZ, but he's low at half HP. The tap oh, on the oh, second oh. one, RGL's low, nades coming out, but that's gonna be a full stick. With the perfect nade out from Artazine to push Whippy back. And how we are, they score another pistol. Wow, if the idea was to garrison the baby door and that's exactly where MIBR was already hunkered down and they just wiped down Cloud9 as they try to get to the safe spots once into B. And it almost seemed like that's what MIBR wanted. They, oh, Cloud9 nice. walked into the site and they were like looking around, where is everybody? Where? Boom, out of the woodwork comes MIBR instantly. Fist bumps all around. Another pistol round here coming in for MIBR. As they get some buys in for round two. We saw a nice flash that came through there from GZ to allow for MIBR to try to fight mm -hmm. back and flood. As you mentioned, Garrison, that small hobbit door to move back. But a force buy coming out for C9. Satchel's moving forward. Oh Utility God. to clear towards the mound, pushing MIBR back within the C site. That's, a lot. And that's an instant smoke that comes out. At least the orb is one for C9 on the control towards that C side. A lot of this round two for C9 is seeing what kind of pressure is pushed on the extremities. You still see where Whippy is back, looking around, turrets watching mid, and C9 is not getting any movement out of MIBR. Quite a bit of utility used just to take that space at long C. And they'll leave the breadcrumbs as they head over now towards this A site. Everything has to be retaken as new. Nobody's had position on this from Cloud9 just yet. Artson pushed up. Yeah, that smoke's not going to do too much because he's jumping up and now spawns the players moving Ooh, forward. Good haunt. Bit of util coming out. Dizzy being picked up once again by Vanity as they clear out towards the orb, looking potentially to farm that second orb if it's still up. <gasps> We're going back. I love Vanity. <laughs> Around the world strat is always on left. the table. And it looks like it's actually being read by MABR. Look at this movement mirroring each other on either side of the map here. And we're going to get a heck of a B fight, or a C fight, rather. Mazin still has a snake fight. So they did a good job to use the KJ util, but there's that molly on the ground. Easy here for MIBR to just start spraying across. Wingman's trying to make it up, and that's four players instantly falling down, including the spike. And a flawless round for MIBR that around the world could have been nice, but there's yeah. definitely... Not a good result in the end for C9. We're like an around the hemisphere. They're staying on one side, right? I'm going to be... Have to get to see the defensive side, maybe. What a hit from MIBR. Just predicting the movement right now. And the, the fact that they are pushed up, that MIBR... Both initiators of him and Zeppa. Yeah. It starts off the first section that you want to cut out, and game control is C side for C9. With this push all the way towards A. Pretty heavy push up. The one way was thrown out all the way from RGL on that A side. So they're kind of playing off the map. More of a retake style towards, towards C here. And this could favor Cloud9 if they can get in with a few sheriff shots. Waiting for the smoke to dissipate. And I'm pretty sure we might see a flood of that util coming in in just a second. They're trying to see if you could pop that molly though. There you go. They got it. So that's an opportunity potentially to flash through if another smoke comes down. But as there's nothing yet. Actually, it's even deeper on the outside. Mm -hmm. So actually, that's a great smoke because that really doesn't allow for you to flash through and cross over within the C site. Absolutely. Very smart flash as well. Coming from the waterfall area just over that top side to, to blind everybody at Long C. From JZZ. They're going to try for it again. The patience here for C9. And again, the numbers game. MIBR has it stacked right. You missed Snake Bite right after that. I mean, this is great utility from Mazine. He even has a second Snake Bite, so all you're gonna do is wait here. 30 seconds. Can't left. really do much. I mean, the pain shells is not even gonna help. I right, hoping to catch them, but as you have it by VR, just holding the site. They were just ready for it the whole time. The crossfire set up on the low, and even you have FRZ on the top. There's no way that you're making it through here for Cloud9. The full house. Mazin's over JZZ's there. A 3K and a 2K. Feeling good for MIBR. And JZZ, a, a pivotal one on that round. Again, the flash over Waterfall, not showing himself 
being super safe just to get the identification or uh, identity of the rest of the C9. In that position, one, two, three, controlled with the Bulldog. And Maz in there as well, the Bulldog himself. Those are very important kills too for JZZ because now that allows the Seekers to be yep. available where on the other end for C9 with these low buys that you had, they're trying to get Vanity out into the Thresh or the Thrash rather this time around. You have an opportunity to play the retake. Love the double util use. Which one are you going to shoot? You're going to shoot Geckos or you're going to shoot the Haunt? Really cool tricks as they go in. Fresh has been used already. This is a hard hit coming in from C9. Yeah, they know it's now open. There's that Seekers to answer right back because MIBR is already on top of the heaven. A spike comes down for a wingman. Even more utility from Vanity just to keep them at bay at the top of the heaven side. Finally, we're circling in, funneling through a flash to try to gain some space. A tap on the spike. Sandals coming across as well for C9. As Mazin's holding within the smoke, Oxy finally gets that pick, but it gets instantly traded out. A four versus four as Oxy falls. It's not looking good here. Three and three. The Diffuse actually being stuck currently. C9's not there to really help it. Finally at halfway gets dropped. Vanity runs floor for these two kills. Perfectly done for C9 in the end as wow. he went ring around the rosy towards this A site. Now, Once they realized they were all kind of in tree, I think getting out was the key. They just spread perfectly into the site, dropped MIBR. What a chaotic round. For so much of the time, they were just within arm's reach of each other for quite a bit there. C9 still playing it as calm as they could to make sure it was MIBR that went down for their first round here on Lotus. Took four. We get C9 in there. Let's see what kind of ultimates we have ready. Nothing yet. It's going to still come down to the strats and the shots. 3-2 split across the map. A little bit more aggressive here from MIBR. We saw this in the first few rounds, but not yet for the gun rounds. They're going to meet C9 at the front of C. We had at least our jail Meister being set up for potentially a paranoia if you actually made it across the yeah. mound because the alarm bot was there, yet they still want to commit to that to funnel everybody back towards the A site. The A site, at least for now, doesn't have an, op an opportunity for C9 to scale up here. Very good movement from both teams. Leaving the Lurkers, pushing forward. C9 choosing Baby Door correctly here. Gonna We're gonna get peeked down on though. This could be a tough take on the B. Wingman once again, a plan for long. You have a flank at least for GZZ towards the back of B. Plant then comes down and successful for Cloud9. C is being thrown inside as Zeba gets the spray within the smoke of 1v1 as the smoke dissipates. Jake loses that fight against Artazine, who then looks to the head-to-head -head against Zeppa. A satchel to break his crosshair placement as he looks to swing right back. But C9 are doing a good job to delay the spike. Finally, as Zeppa runs across, gets denied by Artazine. Showstopper available too. He's still gonna use it at 3 HP. It's out. Back towards the baby door. Back towards the Hobbit. Shoots it down, but GZZ is the one that picks up the kill. A stick on the defuse. But it's not gonna work out for Vanity on the one versus three. A great retake for MIBR in the end. Artazine cannot be stopped. Takes down two in the 1v1 approaching him just at the door on the top of platform of B and then drops into the site to make sure a 3K comes in for the round, getting that result on line even quicker again. It's only one now since it, it was used and then grabbed, but never okay. wasting a moment to make sure that happens. Really nice pressure too. I feel like MIBR kind of left C9 dangling on that retake. When C9 thought the retake was coming, MIBR pumped fake just for a moment. That's when they made their move. With Artazine coming out of that top side. It was a split. problem as well that nobody was watching that flank too that allowed yeah. GCG to move <laughs> forward, right? So All day. And you got a buy with whoever could buy. A hero rifle in the hands for Zeppa. Yeah. Nightfall available, so another opportunity to really flood a site. Whippy watching the flank first, avoiding the boom bot, not shooting the shot, so has an opportunity to surprise some players. And no Nightfall will be used, just simple utility for Cloud9 to move in. There you go, a late Nightfall that comes out towards the back of the C site, but the util comes back for MIBR. Plant still comes down as FRZ gets that pick onto Oxy. Three in sight, they don't know two are coming around from the flank either. It's just Mazin and FRZ waiting for this to come around from the outside. Yeah, it really comes down to those two players. You're just hiding and tucking in for the defenders to allow those flankers oh, to Pekinoia. move in. And that paranoia is going to also idiot. allow here MIBR to flood in as a team. And here it comes. Whippy and Jake, though, they get these picks off through the smoke. 
It's a one versus two for Fra. Now comes in, misses the shots, finally connect, but runs out of bullets on the Vandal. Only has a classic attack on the spike, and it should be easy for Zeppo to win, and it will be after all. The force blight that you had turns out for C9. Got it. Ooh, it does help. It does. A lot of people still going down, but the plant, the kills, it's going to be enough money to get themselves back into a buy here. Not so much the same for MIBR. We're seeing a little bit of the last round buy we got from C9 now from MIBR. A bit scattered. Still some money that can go in. Actually, JZZ is going to change that up here as we watch the replay once again. Seppo with the clean shot. And we start this one off with a low buy for MIBR. Round seven here. As in the first... For the first time in the series, we've had rounds going back and forth, man, silly. And that's the thing, back no and forth looks. also in trades. Yeah. Because now you're looking at three rounds that they won in a row for MIBR. It goes back and forth and instantly mm. we're on an eco now for MIBR. They have a judge to work with, a specter, and a lockdown. Potential to do some damage here if C9 walks into the trap where that's exactly what we currently have at least to oh, start. Oh, yeah. They set up the whole base at A. MIBR, all five members towards this side of the map. Just the baby door encroach here. If Mazin needs to break out fast. Uh oh. Or just hold the corner if they break the baby door in. But instead, Oxy's trying to push forward with C9 to get three. On his side, under the belt, advantage Elno. The door's about to break, and that's Mazin winning right there. Boom, there's that first. Close range onto Jake, and they're dancing across the door. An opportunity to reload and try to jump back out. Hit to come out through. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. There's a ping in the back, though. They know that Whippy's on that flank, trying to get a timing here. Locked down to come out. Oh, what is oh, the my God. Gets caught off. Spike gets picked up. But it's back A. Still has to left. get back to the site. 30 seconds here. Walking straight up the gut between both members of MIBR. 20 seconds left now. As a reposition you have from Manzine is smart. Back towards the B main. There's not enough time to move towards C. So the down. position is good at least for MIBR to try to left. win the 1v1. But instead, they're just going to wait to go for the double retake here. RGL trying to pinch back got towards one. Hobbit and just got spotted. Now here comes the second two. peak. Now goes aggressive to isolate the first duel against Mazin. Nice little smoke actually gives an opportunity once again. Oh, but that's even nicer for RGL. Because of that smoke, he has to swing out, and they're both waiting for him there. Annoying to play against Omens, no matter what. You saw the disadvantage, exactly. You saw, he's like, I'm gonna smoke you off. You're like, wait, damn. Yeah, that could happen too. Yeah, you got one too. <laughs> Pushed out and nicely played. Patience there for MIBR was really was able to solidify that. The fact that Mazin pushes back, doesn't try to aggress on just the plan. Very smart, and this chaos handled very nicely. On the side of MIBR. Oh my gosh. <laughs> when you think you have a moment, but you don't. Again, back and forth. Cloud9 now are going to head, uh, go ahead and call a timeout. As far as the rest of the team feeling these rounds now. Five to two overall as C9 goes for that timeout coming into round eight. Quite a bit of balls to use, whether or not they want to go for that. They can have a few buys. It's going to be low for Jake if they want it. But they have a lot of options here to make things happen, especially if they can maybe grab around with Thresh, grab around then uh, with the ultimate from Raze. But who knows? They may have to use them all at once, the way MIBR has been putting up this defense. They also have an op of their own and a lockdown. So it's tough. MIBR just feels very confident in each move that they're doing, right? Even if you uproot them, from a, a situation, it seems like they have an answer and the, they'll take the 4v5 situation and still convert it. They'll retake with lower numbers. Definitely uh, something to look at for the season here. They can keep that consistency up because it is pretty powerful what Fraud and Bazooka have brought to the squad. Yeah. Brought a lot to the squad and now bringing an operator in the hands of FRZ mm -hmm. within this round. So a Sentinel op within the C site. Quite interesting, but something that you're starting to see with the chamber meta slowly dwindling down and no jet within the map because you're playing a raise. You kind of want to cycle that to somebody else. But for C9, after yeah. the timeout that was being used, they have, you mentioned, a lot of ults and at the same time, a force by through it. So the thrash gains some space. The dog actually slows down Oxy to not be able to get any surprise kills within the door as Whippy was trying to pinch from behind. It's good for a one for one. Rocket did do some damage onto JZZ down to 5 HP. There's an opportunity to do something here. 
Lockdown being used, they're hiding behind it right now for C9. Zep up fully flashed as Jake gets the pick and the, they oh, both get detained. They both clear up the way. This is an opportunity for Zeppa just around. He does have a Vandal to work with at the same time. They're sticking onto the spike. He's running out. There's that judge battle, but there's that kill. But the defuse still comes in. Oh my gosh, fans, this right here, as MIBR takes the round, that was, I believe, C9's pistol. You go towards Gecko in, this time they had the Thresh, and you take Baby Dorier, you get there as fast as possible. Again, that's where they lost a lot of members right off the bat. Seems like MIBR ready and waiting, and this fight through the door is, is, is what was a little weird because they have sight, they have the other side and they're just trying to make sure that one side was clear, and that was the dangerous one. Great round by MIBR. It ends up being a beautiful call for Mazin, right? The mm -hmm. Yeah. New appointed IGL, new player, new member coming in for MIBR, and they, he said, look, we're gonna get the lockdown in. Let's not flood in with the three seconds left, right? Okay. We just no. wanna play the lockdown. We know some players are stuck within that radius of the lockdown. Let's just wait for that to come through, and then we'll come back in and get the defuse after. They still have plenty of time yeah. to work with, and especially when the Denied the flank out from Whippy. It definitely looked like it was going to be in their favor here to retake that site. C9 had couldn't do anything. They had to react somehow through that lockdown. Yeah. And they opted to try to stay within that door to try to catch the players off guard. And they never did. So well done here for MIBR on these calls. And unfortunately here, another tech pause as we currently are assessing the issue. Yeah, a little audio issue will get fixed up quickly for you and get back in the game. I just saw Emmy on your screen, agreeing or disagreeing. That was more of like a, just the, the catcher saying this pitch. And he's like, no, not that strat. Well, maybe this strat. No, not that strat. It seems like they're trying to get everything in order here and see what might be plaguing C9 at this point, because it does seem like just a little bit of being disorganized after that plant, right? MIBR continues to come in, pull apart whatever defense C9 has set up here and they continue to take these rounds from the defensive side. And you see three defuses for those last ones that, yeah. that did get wins. So C9's getting to the site. They're getting the spike down, just not able to hold it. And those retakes are very good from MIBR right now. Low buy for C9 as we get back into this one. Round nine, three ultimates here for MIBR. We see that they are not shy about using those in any situations, as long as it secures the round. Shows a lot about the mentality. They are just gunning for those W's and behind each other to do it. Oh. The jump peak, the wide swing, no punishment there onto FRZ, but C9 knows that the Omps posted down towards his B site. Moving fast. Opening the door quickly, going for a plant. It's in. Nades to deter. Top side. Damn right. Let's see what they got here. The lockdown's a little bit early here, so this is yeah. still a great opportunity for MRBR to wait this out and come through, but they wasted their Seekers out of that. Thankfully, they still have a Showstopper. And there he goes, activated right away by Artisan. Denied by Vanity, close range with the Stinger. That's gotta hurt. And instantly, with a one-way smoke, everybody has to pivot back towards the staircase. JZZ with the first pick there onto Oxy, but you already see them falling back. Yeah, back, back towards the B site, back towards Waterfall. This is a C9 round. Cloud9 turned that one on and said, I am speed. Just straight through the door, straight into sight, without even worrying about what kind of defense would be there after their initial portion of the map, and, or round rather. And that is exactly the kind of strength you really remember if you're a C9 fan, going in, dominating a round, and making a team save out. This is what we got at MIBR a few maps ago, right? And we joked that it was the lev save, but no, that was a forced one. Quite big as well. So the operator will be there for next round. And these raise alts getting stopped all day is uncanny. Yeah, I we did it. not see that this much. Some wild stuff here starting off from VCT. Definitely showing that the aim gets better and better after every game, after every <laughs> event. And now with C9 getting that round and three weapons saved for MIBR, they could buy around that. Op still stays alive for FRZ as he saved it on that previous round. Mm -hmm. Vandals for the rest, one. Phantom for RGL, who's actually taking control towards Pillar Solo at the rubble. Dangerous spot, but happy to play here. Paranoia is ready. Cover going Ultimate out. get out too if anything gets too hairy. Yeah, with the Dizzy coming up, there's that Paranoia pink shell to push him out with a CD! Nice little combination there for C9, but Artisan was still waiting oh. towards the orb. Beautiful trade, but makes it away, escapes it at 5 HP, and he'll get the top up. All right, 4v4 now. Jake's playing with his food. 
And Fortnite ah. going Already back and out. forth consistently as now the smoke is going to give a gap here to allow C9 to move forward. But the alarm bar's still there to get some information. And Oxy being down again, we saw this on split. It makes it tough for C9 to choose how to get in. Right now, it could be that Zeppa's communication, knowledge of what's happening at A, means they walk in. But Mazin has something to say about that. Vandal just towards Treeside here. Yeah. Waiting, and here comes the rest of MIBR, but how quick is C9 on this play? Wall should come up as soon. There he goes, the door opens Ooh. up. Could have used some snake bite to delay, but yeah. thinking that he could have won a 1v1 there, but there was actually four players of C9 running through towards the A side to allow this little man to play. All right. The retake. Everybody's gonna meet at the same side, so you're not really gonna get a different direction here for MIBR. They're Ever waiting. Low. Yeah, waiting for JZZ to check the peak. C9 is in such good positioning, though. This would be tough for MIBR. I mean, there's no flashes either for JZZ mm -hmm. with the latest patch. Nothing refreshes. A dog is not going to allow for you to get too much. You could get shot right away, and you're in great positions here for C9 on the pulse plant. All of them once again. And the Brazilian team of MIBR will fall back. Live to fight another day with these three weapons. And even then, Mazin could find that next round with the rest. Yeah. A big time out from Cloud9 a few rounds ago. Whatever Emmy shook his head no to, it was right. <laughs> it was, no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, C9 calling that time out has changed their play style. More to the aggression, more of what we actually saw at the end of Bind in the way that they played to get themselves a few more rounds, to put themselves on top of the situation, right? Not playing from behind, which it seems like they've had the chance to do against MIBR with just the way the game's going. This does now force out the MIBR timeout operators still out there for frz they don't have to change too much from defense and i think they're pretty happy with defense so far just not the last few rounds yeah they have to probably be more happy if they could actually find some way to funnels the player a uh, funnel rather the players of cloud nine and within the op of frz because he hasn't yeah. been getting too much value out of it and as again the composition that you have for c9 that allows you to section part by part inch by inch when you're scaling back within that that site and towards C, for example, you get a smoke, can't do anything. Mm -hmm. It's a great time to point out again, Artson on top, well, near on top 11 and four, but has been for a lot of these games coming into the team, IG yelling, being able to frag, that is something you rarely get with that much confidence out of somebody. So awesome to see that pick up for MIBR there. See what they can continue to do going into this next round, round 11 here. And a lot of this game has, has been MIBR shutting down C9. If we look at the kill score, everybody's right there around six or five. So it's taking the team, it's taking refrags to get past MIBR, who have had some powerful fragging in this game, in this series. Six to four here, still again, super close. A lot of what we saw on our first map, honestly. You bring up a great point. It's actually quite crazy that you got four rounds for C9, but you got like what a total of 24 kills across right, the board. Right. It really comes down to the Uto Pulse Plan, and again, mm -hmm. that discipline that we saw from MIBR on map number one to this one to try to work their economy in their favor. And there. I think C9's do the same thing, and that's the beauty of potentially seeing that outlaw coming in. You can't really go into a half wide meta anymore, so you just want to continue yeah. to hold full armor if you can. And with that, though, C9 are looking to push within the C site. Allows here for Mazin to fall back safely as they're just looking to play the retake. <laughs> We've all missed him. We've all missed him. Uh, so in sight, the retake comes in. MIBR has been strong. Two kills instantly for MIBR. As C9 was trying to push towards the spawn. And now this gives an opportunity for MRBR to come back. Mazine's still alive, has an orb. Stink bite also still available. Now they could tap within the spike. Not really set up here for Zeppa for the kill. They're just trying to play that distance. Up to Vanity alone has a thrash, but the defuse will come in for MIBR. They don't need a wingman for defuse. <laughs> FRZ and RGL in the pushed out of that smoke together and they had an AWP. That was like a point-blank operator retake. Nothing is scaring them off the situation uh, or the weapons they have. Usually the operator would make that kind of take difficult, but not, not in that situation. Crazy stuff. Spike goes down and then you just see him pop out of here. Not what you're expecting. 
Man, even if the Dizzy did some damage there with the goop, it was just that timing that you yeah. had. The, the idea was try to flood that waterfall on the plane and not allow for them to fall back. But we'll hold that thought. C9's already pushing aggressively in the last round of the half. And Oxy opens up a thrash booming for Paranoia to answer back on the defensive side. JZZ on the off oh, gets the finger to Jake. And now the door opens with another one to fall. Only two players alive now for C9 with the spike still on the back of Vanity, who does get that pick onto RGL. Far range there, another person falls. And the advantage then comes back for C9. Up to Mazine alone. Nano Swarm pushes him out. Could get a timing right over here. Orb now being picked up. Knows that Vanity's there just around the corner here of the tree. And now here is a turret. That's confirmation that there's not going to be a backstab across. You want more? Here's more. Oh no. Uh, that's going to suck. Pierce towards the back of the site. He gets the timing throw oh! and he gets detained. <laughs> Time to dance, my friends. Wait, where is he? Where is he? Oh my god! They couldn't find him, he stayed behind. No shot. Somehow stays alive, but there's an alarm bot there to get the information as he walks across. Orb then comes down. Now they know he's towards that staircase. Vandal now for both Vanity and Whippy. The first contact will be Vanity, but Whippy's not looking to swing it back. Lots of time. They're just gonna do two separate 1v1s that Vanity is Whoa. going to win. And see- Sees Nate, but it, <laughs> luckily, Oxy is gonna be towards mid here, and you do see that most of MIBR is step back a bit, waiting for that noise. One, two, three, aggression from C9. Only gets the ping onto one player. All of MIBR are waiting behind here for the util to just dwindle down, and he might be able to flood right back with the wall coming through. A flash available for JZZ, and there it is. Paranoia on top of that. And the first and second kills come in favor of the attacking side. Zeppa then still trying to stay alive as much as he can towards the rubble. Beautiful satchel to push him out of position. Oxy was trying to flank ASAP, but now he's blocked by his teammate Smokes, which gives him IBR an opportunity to move in within this A site and plant. Oh, if that turret wasn't there, Oxy was gonna have such good timing coming around, but MIBR just has everything thought of at the moment. Again, they're both just gonna come from this base side on the left. Turret available, working together. Sheriff and Ghost first contact. Nice shot there from Oxy. The back step, where's the communication? There's a third! Oxy on fire! Oxy kills him on VR! And C9 get the defuse and the pistol. to come in and put this much into each game. Usually there's some cobwebs they have to work out, a little rust, but no pressure on Oxy, it seems. Still being able to come up huge on these frags throughout each game, almost top second frag in game number one, top frag in game number two, in his appearance, debut appearance, and now getting back there in game three here to bring Cloud9 a huge pistol round in second half. Bazooka's not gonna like that one. He no. talked about how it pissed around, cost them dearly on split. This one might be the one on Lotus or being picked up for Oxy. Almost ready with the showstopper if they could convert the pistol. Looking to fight right back through the smoke though. MIBR is splitting right out. But Zeppa's there for the support. Stinger sprays. Prowler to come out. And at least baits out a shot from the classic. And there's that long range across, two HP remaining, but at least Zeppa gets that kill, third within the round. And he's also building closer to a nightfall yeah. in their bonus potential. Zeppa limping around rubble, willing to give himself up here just for a bit of sounds the team can trade. Quick haunt. I expect to get backstabbed at this point. There it is. Easy kill, right good classic, close range. Paranoia, nice there for Jake to stay outside of that radius that you could still see while you're paranoid and C9. They're able to escape here. The, the heavy push that MIBR did and did convert to a lot of kills there actually in their ego. Or on their ego rather. Yep. Buy in. Looks like they'll still get a bit of money spent. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. We also have to understand that there was some Inception. delay for MIBR to keep peeking one by one. Yeah. Like, oh no, you got it? Okay, yeah. you got it? It's okay. That's when you feel a little too comfortable in the round. 
and you get punished for it. Seven to seven, we're all tied up now here on our last map of the series. Not that replay. Oxy basically said, Vanity, we don't need that flash. You got me. <laughs> don't worry about it. I got seven bullets in the chamber. We're fine. Minute and 20 left on this. Lots of time before I might be out of play with. Dizzy to get information from the waterfall. Actually, baits the shot out from MIBR at the mound. They're still trying to move forward to see if there's any type of KJ utility towards the C site. Sign to pull back, try to work out in a different position. Beauty again of that Dizzy. Yeah. Refreshing after being picked up. 10 seconds to throw it back again. But it allows for C9 to really just anchor out towards the C and B while all of them pivot back towards the A site. Or it might be our. Quiet contact play coming up here. All the way to the front door. Yeah, this is going to surprise C9. Ready for it no matter what. 30 seconds left. Turret to be able to spot that first contact as Zeppa plays the off angle, gets the dink. And you're trying to do as much as you can, trying to hold these tight angles on your bonus round. Paranoia comes out. Give me a chance here for Venom to move through with the Dizzy. Nice little Nano Swarm as Jake almost had a second one. That's going to stop any type of trap that you're trying to do here for C9 until you see those satchels out from Oxy. Spike down. 1v1 long range towards the spawn to dink off the JZZ. Showstopper also available. Pain shells now. Upgrade from a Vandal. Here's the shots coming through behind the box. The swing out, but RGL was still waiting around the corner. As MIBR, we it was back close. and forth again. Felt it. Oxy probably could have done it there. Let's go. All right, ultimate for Oxy. Where did they go with this? Uh, the explosion on the B is always super powerful. Uh, I'm sorry, C, B, a lot of angles to look at. As we see this hit once again, the judge. I love that we now have two judge users users here. Vanity's always bringing it out, but Oxy feeling very comfortable to make that a weapon he will use. MIBR, however, shutting it all down, pulling another round into their favor to keep it going back and forth and up the gut here. Coming in for MIBR. Just a little bit of lurk presence for Mazin, and it's going to be Artsin in immediately. He also is comfortable with and the judge. Judge too, laying down the verdict. Both sides of the team. Um, where do they go though? Just trying to go for a decent plan. It was delayed slightly by yeah. Molly being thrown yeah. here. A mosh, but a showstopper out just to delay the plan. It works out. Close range with the buck, but it gets dodged. C9 moving in though for these trades. Mazine and Artzine, the last two remaining. Spike down out in the open as Artzine is still trying to move in, baiting out the shots. Zeppa. Flushed remaining. out and picked off. Vanity, a nice shot there. A 1v1. The jump long range with the judge. That gun gets picked out. A tap there from Vanity to tie up the game. The multi kills from Vanity when they are required have <laughs> continuously from map to map and coming from the IGL. A pivotal one there to again keep it tied here in our second half. And these are coming down to the big, big frag rounds right now. You just go in. Spike might go down, but it is a bloodbath inside each one of these sites. Clean plays just off the strafe shot, too. Very nicely done. Gotta say, Oxy's passion is through the roof right yeah. now. He is just absorbing everything about that stage in his first games. Now we're going towards C, it looks like, here with MIBR. Oxy wanting to push out towards mid there. Still has the judge. They're fine with keeping these close range guns and allowing MIBR to encroach a little bit closer. MIBR spread in the 3-1-1 right now. This door game to be played ever so slowly. Something that we didn't see too much here for this door revolving from C9 on the attack. MIBR is trying to play that mind game a little bit more. Even the alarm bot being pushed up at the entrance of the B site. So for C9, still a question mark. Do we actually have players that rotate through the revolving door or not? At least for us, we know here at the pivot comes back towards this A site, trying to get a contact play within the A site. Thrash now being used towards that C mount stopped. No really early rotates yet. This is just Mazine going for lurk place. Now the dog comes behind the door. Nightfall coming out from the defensive side of C9. Oxy just left. holding close. The 
The big battle now comes in towards the revolving door at the tree. Flash to come out, Zeppa playing the off angle, avoids the oh flash for the kill. And for Azito answers right back onto Oxy. Advantage for a C9, but we're still looking for the plant. Everything is getting delayed so far because a crash Ten got picked up. Left. 10 seconds left, this might be it. And Dargel gets that first take, and now there yep. is no time. One enemy, one enemy remaining. That was a very weird round that we saw here on the attack from our yard. Yeah. Seems like they weren't confident to try to work and hit that A site. I think those are the, the rounds before where we saw MIBR saving, but the game a bit too tight for that at this point. You don't really want to have a big save like that just to keep your, your weapons here. They wanted the round. So we'll see once again. Down. Lots of control coming from Tree, but they couldn't find Vanity up on top of Heaven there. A nice hide. Vanity actually has been... Uh, alive for a lot of these rounds towards the end being able to make calls being able to use that util to be sure they can retake sites so that positioning has helped a lot with him being alive towards the end of these rounds pushing towards a they're, they're kind of just pushing each other around here without even knowing about it but they're going to meet and spawn i know dizzy and prowler is close though on the call for mibr mazine was trying to watch that plane but gets popped instantly so this will now yeah, force MIBR to, to move quickly within this eight within this c site more of eye that you have for MIBR. A plant will be a nice little one as Alarm Bot forces out now the Nano Swarms to delay the plant from MIBR, which then, look at this push from C9. All of them forced down. MIBR trying to push back towards the CT. Big paranoia to come across. Plant still comes in no matter what. An assist from the wingman to get the clap onto RG. Allowing Oxy to get his second ace of the DCT Americas. The I buy power ace comes through again. Man, we're gonna have to get some shipping on these because <laughs> if you're following that I buy power on socials, they'll be giving away a PC every I buy power ace. And at this point, we're gonna have to write thank you cards to Oxy. <laughs> oh my gosh, the rookie absolutely exploding. I think they said Super Saiyan. Doesn't that take like 20 episodes? This guy, <laughs> one episode one right episode, now. 20 kills pretty Holy much. Holy crap, this, he is absolutely cooking right now. And that was pressuring three 1v1s. Look at that. That's, Recognize me. That's Super Saiyan 4. That's yeah. definitely Super Saiyan 4. <laughs> I see the moon. The moon is full. Oh yeah, you're and definitely gonna call a timeout out of the, that Oh one. my gosh, just mind-numbing play that MIBR has to deal with right now. They gotta shake that off. They gotta remember that they have been in control for most of the maps that have been in this series with Cloud9 being able to bring it to a third due to some hard work here. And now Oxy has just completely come online again from that first game second fragging and now has top fragged the past two games this one not even over yet and he's four from the next 10 to 8 here that might be our now looking to change things up there's too much momentum with three rounds now on the side of cloud nine and there's four ultimates to be used by mibr if this round gets snuffed out by cloud nine that might be 13 for them that's a that's a great point here to call the timeout to stop that momentum that C9's been building, especially after that ace that you saw from Oxy. The economy is not too good here mm -hmm. for MIBR. They have to go for a rare half buy. With Vandals, they have ults to work with. So you know that this is definitely an important swing round for MIBR that they have to convert. So off this timeout, no early aggression, not trying to use anything. For C9, instead, it's for them to move out. Ooh, and that's a great there. call for MIBR. Staying towards the spawn, punish them thinking that C9 with that confidence will overcook. Exactly, and, and they have a little burn on the edges for that push. And it looks like it's gonna be a quick one. Seeker's out towards C, and the rest of the hit comes through on the KJ util. Ooh, counter Nato Swarms, but Jake couldn't get the pick. They're good. That might stop the bleeding right here for MIBR. Even coming out with a flawless would be huge. Nice utility to push them back, another Nato Swarm in. It's JZZ, which just spotted one towards the back of spawn. But Zippa runs out, the trades come across, but Vanity once again stuck in a one versus two. He's clutched it before, and the boom bot's gonna spot him. He spikes down out in the open. Exactly, I'd say positioning here for Vanity if they don't double swing him. Could be, if they get on top of site, they might pit, make Vanity push into the Viper's pit, but it doesn't look yeah. like they're in position for that. I mean, you do it towards spawn. 
Oh, it's a satchel and set for the double swing. Ooh. Nicely done for MIBR. I mean, to win a round like that and not having used too many of those ults. Yeah. I mean, from what MIBR would, was doing on the previous rounds, we saw Mazin actually putting an ult down right next to another member of C9 to solidify a round. And these ones are very important to do so. It was just a blast pack and a double peek on that one. So they saved the ultimate. And like we said, they had four to use, only needed one to get through that round. Really, the Seeker's coming in. Artzazine's about to be on top too with his uh, showstopper, so. They could actually unleash a lot of hell in these next few rounds. They stave off that loss. The Econ's still good for MIBR and C9. Goes back to this push towards Rubble. Gaining ground and giving less space for MIBR to play with. Yeah, no less, less space, even a Prowler to confirm that nobody's moving and staying behind towards this A site. But once again, it's MIBR using satchels, but not breaking too good much damage. Kill. Turret comes out. Artazine's the one that's creating that space to waste that KJ util. There is a pit, but they have a Nightfall and a Showstopper on top of this. Vanity goes in. We answer back though with the lockdown on the attack. And there is that trade off. And JZZ just lines up a few as they're trying to run back towards the waterfall. That might be it right there for C9 to just hold it back for a little bit more. I mean, if Jake and Whippy could do a little bit of damage here, but they're also low in the economy. Vandal upgrade for Jake and both of them will decide to fall back. An incredibly pivotal timeout from MIBR just a few rounds ago. I think what they did was they basically scheduled how to use these ultimates. They said, all right, this round, look to get this ult in with the Seekers, we take B. This round, look to get in again, use the Viper's Pit. And they still have another ultimate to come in here. And I think Artisan's very close to his too, maybe one off if he didn't get a frag there, so. This could be a showstopper now to come up and bring them to 11-10. MFBR has unfolded this arsenal so well over the last few rounds. And we'll see this play out. JZZ on top, just clotheslining people with that phantom. All right. So that showstopper is one away. On deck is just going to be Jake's ultimate with a few orbs needed for the rest of Cloud9 if one were to get there. So MIBR definitely has an idea. They can get towards long here, get that alt orb for Arzine, and then make the play happen. It's one of the rounds C9's not going to get their A push in, so this may work out for MIBR here. When you're looking at it, though, it's a gamble here for C9 to just get as much information as you can on both extremities here. Mm -hmm. There's no alarm bot or turret or anything to see any pushes towards B. I mean, for MIBR, they've rarely moved within that location, unless it was with judges. C9 trying to go for a blind push after throwing up the, the Dizzy to potentially get control of that orb so then he could have it in round number 23, but he falls back instead. Showstopper's up. Fuse has not been lit just yet, and it looks a little chaotic oh. for them to get into the site. Showstopper down. Try to get a timing through that. A nice shot from Oxy. It is down with a second headshot of the JZZ. Whippy's still a. alive within the back of the site as his teammate falls down, but there comes Vanity and Jake from the top of heaven. We're trying to go for a double backstab here. So the door being opened up for Mazin to fall back within B, and FRZ will cut the rotation. The thing with only having really one path to victory when C9's putting you down that hard is I think C9 read the same thing, that those alts would be used round after round and the orb focus for Artazine was going to happen this round here. We saw how big that C9 collapsed on that area right after the alt came in. It was left. pure chaos. Now leaving here the plant to Mazin. It'll be a retake for C9. Very important here, and Vanity's scaling this up alone back towards the spawn. They have to be, I think every corner is held by a member of MIBR. And FRZ is always so good on these lurk moments to actually put a lot of impact within the round. There is that swing. Vanity. Wide one to get the headshot onto FRZ. It's Some stay, he's still swinging. a big flat there for Mazin. He actually has to stay within the site. So it's planet within. He's holding towards the water. There's no utility except for the Dizzy here for Vanity, so technically, potentially even a four versus one for the retake. Nice angle on the top in front of the C site, but Jake gets the wall bang headshot. <laughs> Does he know which wire to cut is the question. Definitely. Uh, when then defuse a big one there, and the fact that Vanity was able to cut off the cutoff, man, in FRZ is absolutely huge. 11 to nine. 
That would have been a third round loss as well for C9 there. Those are they some... stop that and reset the money over on side of Big toes there at that artisan head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so good. The chef aim. <laughs> I like it a lot. <laughs> All right, rock and roll. Thresh is out. Still that ultimate for Jake. Can't really use it too much unless you're repositioning with the omen. A nice early fade out. And they get that Prowler some good information. Ooh, door open? The door games. They start. Rare moment here for MIBR to work towards his B site, and C9 just wanted to fight that right away. Now, continuing to win with the one ways, they're kind of just leaving them pinned, holding back towards the spawn still. But Mazim's doing a very good job during all of this ruckus towards his BC side to scale up, lurk, and break the alarm bot. Split into defense right now for Cloud9. They're gambling for this hit towards the A site. Vanity is already rotating across. A little delay on the door open. Nicely played with the Killjoy Mollies. MIBR has been here before. This thrash goes out, just bring it back for re-grab after a minute. And then they'll be back into this one. We'll dog through and this is potentially even just another go. to break the baby door. Hobbit now broken, execution towards the B site. Oxy playing close, tucked in towards the heavens. Now moving within the pit with Zeppa together. Both of them spraying as they did get at least one within the seas. Boom button trying to clear it out. And then a thrash moving forward right through. Does not get a pick, but Seppa gets a spray down on two. Spike now down as Whippet gets another one. And FRZ is alone all the way back towards Rubble. Spotted now by Oxy. And Oxy's chasing after it to get that pick. And C9, we're at map in series point. One of the things to notice about Oxy when we're watching the Superdome Columbia and just other matches that they played here in the offseason was that fearlessness, the ability to go forward and just absolutely knowing what the duelist job is. There's no hesitation. And everybody's behind that here. MIBR found a way to shut it down quite a bit in the first few maps with playing further back, not allowing Oxy so much attention, but he is finding it on his own now. And the team is there to support as much as they can the utility, give him the space he needs. All right, possible final round here as we're on our third map of these two in their first go around here in the 2024 season VCT kickoff. The towards C is gonna be the hit and it looks like a retake for Cloud9 Vans. MIBR is digging deep in their pockets here, backs against the wall, the buy is broken and with that aggression you saw from Cloud9 towards that A site, MIBR is pushing towards C. They even wanna fight towards Where are they going? the waterfall. Holy. They're going for it right now and they're trying to pinch within the B site. The lineup from Jake! Crazy pressure. That is not gonna be good here for MIBR. I see. Feel like their hands forced to plant within the C site. Jake just got eyes on them from the shadows, so they're pretty good to wait this out and wait as well for Zeppa to get here along with Vanity, and they are going to nail this site. Paranoia is not there. A smoke to use, though. Guardians, all that's left. RGL gets that first pick and a second one. The flake on the third one. Not 